when I was in college, I worked my way through school. So I had a job at nights, 44 hours a week, six, eight, six nights one week and five nights the next. I would be, I was an award attendant in a state mental hospital called Austin State Hospital. And my job was to like be there and keep an eye on all the inmates in different wards at different nights all over the hospital. So I worked the whole hospital over the course of a couple of years. I was in on a lot of different wards. But one of the, on one of the wards, there were these two old men. One was German and the other was Czech and neither one of them could speak English very well. Just a few words. And they were psychotic. But every now and then one of them would come over and get in the upper bunk with the other one. They would sit in the upper bunk and they would talk. One of them would speak in German and the other one would speak in Czech. And they would have these animated conversations and they would take turns. And they would laugh and they would slap each other on the knee. And the supervisor said, okay, when that happens, you have to separate them and make them go to their own separate bed. But I thought they were having a good time, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I let them go ahead and have this wonderful conversation. And, of course, they weren't understanding each other. They were both crazy. They were both speaking different languages. But they were animated and they were communicating and they were having quite a good time. And so I would let them go on. If it made too much noise, I'd quiet them down a little bit or I moved them so they were like a little bit out of the periphery of the rest of the of the people on the ward and let them have their conversation. But I often thought about how that conversation was pretty much like all human beings in all relationships, is that you're speaking to someone else and you're presuming that everything you say is getting communicated to them exactly the way you're thinking about it, and it's not. And, this, and both people have that same assumption, and it's an incorrect assumption. It's wrong. We all have, people don't get the same images of things or the same ideas of things that you have that you think you've communicated, and you don't get what they're saying. So we're always like in a hit or miss conversational, uh, pro, uh, conversational context. And radical honesty is simply for simplicity. It is for the sake of being as dumb as you can be rather than as smart as you can be 